Okay, I am Ms. Jason. I will be reviewing uh, the claim that legalizing cannabis will improve the economy. Okay. Uh, pretty much, the sec uh, her secondary claims were that selling and producing cannabis will increase the wealth of the economy. The second one is legalizing cannabis will promote new jobs. And third, the regulation of the cannabis industry will result in a better and safer product. Now, my response to these claims starts off with uh, legalizing marijuana is not the solution. No doubt anything sold will improve the wealth of the economy, but is selling and producing a product, uh, but is selling and producing more of a drug, or I mean uh, a gateway drug, be the smart and sound solution for our families to increasing wealth for the economy? I don't think so. So we ask ourselves, number one, will it generate wealth when taxing the sale of cannabis? Um, if you have to know the cycle for consumers is, um, as consumers buy more, consumers buy more, corporations will produce more, this will increase profits, and this will add new jobs. So pretty much, spending more will create new jobs. So, uh, based on the Department of Commerce, which is a government concerned with economic growth, uh, they released that consumer spending fell for a record six straight uh, months. So, pretty much the average American, to the average American, what would you be spending more your money on? Food on the table or a dope sack of marijuana? So, According to the World Bank, the average American eats $7 worth of food per day. Uh, that, uh, the World Bank is an international financial institution for food. And if you guys know, a dub sack is the most common um, amount one buys in terms of marijuana. That's the size of two dimes, four joints, two grams. It's pretty much 20 to $25 depending on uh, how good this, this stuff is. Now, we compare to, this is equivalent to sacrificing three and a half days of food for this little dub sack. Now, you tell me if buying marijuana will help save the economy in a time when everyone is saving. Now, will the inflow of marijuana significantly help the U.S. national debt? As of yesterday, the national debt is around 11.9 trillion. That's around 12 trillion, and that's based on the national debt clock in Manhattan, New York. And it's increasing at an average 3.87 billion per day. So, medical, mar medical marijuana, according to Jeffrey A. Myron, which is, which is a notable American economist, states that if you tax marijuana based on like groceries and foods, you can raise around 2.4 billion per year. If you tax it like alcohol or tobacco, you can make 6.2 billion per year. But remember, debt is increasing on an average on, of 3.87 billion per day. So pretty much for, for every day we owe 3.7 uh, billion, we only gain 2.4 throughout the whole year if it's taxed like a normal grocery product. Now we still owe more per day and it's still barely dancing anything. Now, in terms of saving from law enforcement, it won't even be that great because Jeff, it, what Jeffrey uh, Myron said, uh, it will save 13 billion on law enforcement. Yeah, but how about alcohol? You know, true. But what? Uh, but would you want to add another drug, drug into the equation? Remember, uh, marijuana is a gateway drug. So users of marijuana have a higher risk to experiment with harder drugs like heroin, cocaine, LSD, than non-users in which leads to more crimes. So a simple policy of replacing the imprisonment with a fine as a penalty for using marijuana will for sure minimize this law enforcement spending. So pretty much stop spending money on catching them, but earn money when catching them. So for her second claim, anything legalized of course will make more jobs, but the legalization of it wouldn't even be that significant. Because based on the U.S. Census Bureau, uh, the U.S. has a population of 304 million. Now, the U.S. Government Substance Abuse and Mental Health Data Archive, SAMHDA, um, states that 7.2% of the population smoke marijuana. 75% smoke, I mean, smoke uh, drink alcohol. So when you compare them to, that's all, like more than 10 times more than marijuana users. So there's 3.8 million jobs for alcohol, uh, that are alcohol related. That, uh, for uh, marijuana related, if it, if it was legalized, the amount of jobs will be 10 times smaller than 3.8 million. So it's not even that significant. And for the for claim three, regardless of the regulation of the product, the increased mm -hmm. potency of, and openness, openness for the use will increase marijuana abuse. The regulation of the product will still result in substance abuse because it's more open freely and out there in the market as alcohol and tobacco is. And with the legalization, more companies are going to fight for more potent uh, stuff or as a better, better product. So, in retrospect, CBS News poll states that 38% of Americans favor legalizing marijuana. 
but 58% want it kept legal. President Obama even said uh, in a recent online town hall that uh, when it came to legalization of marijuana, he said, the answer is no, I don't think that this is a good strategy, and then he laughed to grow our economy, uh, to help grow our economy, and everyone applauded. So pretty much, marijuana is not the most sound for an economy that's saving. Our debt increases faster every day than how much we receive in taxes from marijuana per year, and jobs wouldn't even be that significant. 10 to 1 for alcohol. So this is just adding another drug into the equation.